Hello everybody, what is happening? Welcome back to the channel. We are continuing with Starfield. Not Garfield, but Starfield. And I cannot wait. Been thoroughly enjoying this. So literally picking off where we picking up where we left off. I'm pretty sure the scorpion sting relates to the Terramorph. I can't swear to it, but I'm pretty sure it does. We haven't met any Terramorphs yet. But we're just about to. Excuse me. I think that's one right outside the ship there. <laughs> the good thing Let is I'll see what wonders of life this planet hosts. Do you require my assistance? I think Just picking up the razor leaf first. I want it to read the the alien life form, there we go. It's an Akuradon. But we don't know anything about it at the minute. Are they hostile? No, not. Okay. Might become hostile if I keep running up its backside though. There's more here. I wonder if they'll let me walk through them. Because they look like they're lined up. Just gonna walk through as if I was walking down a, a sort of yeah, arch. Can I interact with this? Yeah, I can. That's what's wrong. Ah, oh, I think I see. So... I need to make it go across again. Yeah. So I need to steer it. I need to steer it along all of this. Go to the last star of the Scorpius constellation. There we go. It's like the... It's like they guard this. It's kind of weird how instinctively they form that arch, that sort of uh, honour guard type thing. Cool though. That's why I didn't bring the car. I, I, I keep forgetting I can just set a course from here as well. Sorry guys. Every time. So... And I can make the jump because apparently I'm. off immediately, or are there other matters that require your attention? You found me. You found me. I knew I made the right choice in letting you go. Oh, really? You did. Now it's all starting to make sense. Excellent. That doesn't say. speak for myself. Constellation ship, you weren't invited to this meeting, but much of our conversation has been about you. It's only fitting you should join us. Okay. That doesn't sound... I will guarantee your safety as long as you come in peace. And think of it as a ceasefire meeting. Your one shot 
<laughs> so his ship is called Scorpius. Starborn ships are cool. I think you get one as a reward for completing. I saw that uh, a lot of folk talking about that once I'd stopped playing the, the first playthrough I'd done. Um, Look at this. Now that is starship design. Hello again. <laughs> Do you remember the emissary, perhaps? And their ship, the Helix. I believe they ambushed you above Neon and demanded that artifact you worked so hard to gain. Really? Thank you for the stellar introduction. Your success is unprecedented. Before you came, we were just discussing how continued use of force against you is unwise. All we ever wanted to do was talk. Yes, we did. We are not a monolithic people. The Starborn are individuals. Some are united in cause. Others are in it for themselves. We are all in it for ourselves. Some of us are just more honest. Mm. The emissary threatened your ship, demanded you hand over your artifact. How is that so different from what I did? We needed to warn you off. Every encounter with one of our kind could spell disaster. For whom exactly? I say whoever can collect them should. Ooh. Yes. Let's talk about what really matters. The unity. You are on the path to it. It is a place. A gateway. It is where we were reborn. Really come a long way since the welcome to constellation speech, haven't you? Wow. I'm not who you think I am. This universe is only the first one you've been to. I've seen hundreds. Where I came from, I was the one who stayed at the lodge to protect the artifacts. You died on board the eye while we held off the hunter. One of me, at least. I collected the remaining artifacts, and they opened the way to the center of my universe, and the doorway to an infinite number of others. That is the unity. When I stepped into it, I became a Starborn. It's how I've entered other worlds, including yours. I have to. This is bigger than all of us. <laughs> Huh. All the artifacts are needed to complete the armillary and open the way to the unity. In every universe, the Starborn fight over them. Innocent people die. You've witnessed the power granted by the temples. The anarchy that can be unleashed. Someone has to decide who should get them. Here it comes. The emissary tells you only the worthy should enter heaven. You're twisting what I mean. They're hypocrites. They use the chaos caused by the hunt for the artifacts to establish an order where they decide who's worthy. I attacked your lodge because I wanted the artifacts and you held me off. You got away. That wasn't some morality play. You didn't survive because of righteousness. You won because of persistence, luck, and skill. As I have done countless times. I was also human once. But what does it matter who or what I was? 
choose when eternity is within your grasp. You're learning. My other self wants you to walk the path he walks. To give up. To appreciate the universe you have. Easy for a person who's seen everything, done everything. I think you should see it for yourself. You've never come this far. Not in all the universes I've seen. The path to the unity is opening to you. You're going to tip the scales one way or another. Better your hand be on one of our sides. Hmm. Between all three of us, give you some time to think over which approach to the unity is the one you want. Mine, or the Hunter's. Yes. Let's see how willing you are to live under someone else's rules. Just remember, one of us isn't trying to judge you. I'll tell you everything You might think the Emissary is on your side. But your persistence is what forced them to tell you the truth. Remember that. Whoever created the artifacts and built those temples is playing a game with us. One whose prize is access to the center of all creation. There are no rules. Whoever gets all the pieces wins. And I've won. Over and over. I don't kill for the unity. I find the easiest pathway to it. Hmm. I've simply found that it's the quickest way. Talking, forming alliances, waiting for the right moment to commit theft. It's all so tiresome. Hmm. I'll admit, you getting away has been the most interesting thing to happen in quite some time. Oh, I'm glad you think as so. As soon as I realized what had happened, I knew I needed to wait until this meeting with the Emissary to decide what to do about you. To see what would happen, of course. You might not understand just how many times I've done this, Usually, you're the one who ends up dead, and whoever cries over your body goes on to become the emissary. But this time... Sometimes I manage to get you all bunched up and take care of the problem in one go. And sometimes the emissary has gotten to me first, and I never arrive. Hundreds and hundreds of variations of me, packing through Constellation. And it's almost never you. You making it to your ship on your own. That's new. I took it as a sign. I don't get many of those anymore. They enter the Unity, take artifacts from others, employ force. All the things I do. But... I am many things. But I would never tell anyone what to do with their gifts. That is your decision, not someone else's. Ooh. The emissary wants to become the judge of who gets to enter. But the unity itself doesn't judge. <laughs> no, we always end up having this meeting at this time. But it's the usual affair. Can we make peace? No. Oh, how tragic. Yep. Honestly, I was beginning to wonder why I kept tending. And it's bad habit I started a long time ago. Perhaps I just like meeting the emissary to gloat. <laughs> but you have provided something quite new to talk about. Maybe you're a random die roll. 
Or maybe the unity is finally responding to all my hard work. Or maybe it's just random chance, like you said. I think that's far more likely. I know we are not the same people we met in our universes. Still, it is good to see you again, old friend. It's not an easy experience to describe, but the Unity will speak to you, offer you the chance to become Starborn. You will be leaving this universe behind to be reborn. Everything you were before will be gone. Maybe that's why it offers the choice. Compassion. Or is it testing us? Different. I never know who you are when I meet a new version, but so much of you stays the same. It's hard, but each universe is precious in its own way. Mine will never have its original you in it again, as yours won't have its real me. You've seen the terror the Hunter causes. Every time a Starborn goes through the Unity, they get more artifacts, find more temples, gain more power. We can't let more like him abuse these gifts to destroy whatever's in their way. When all the artifacts are assembled, the device they create is called the Armillary. In many ways, it's a model of the multiverse itself. Through it, you can reach the Unity. And from there, you can become Starborn. So there we go we get a choice now we can I before you leave I want to give you something a way to another artifact but also a lesson in how dangerous they can be seek the moon of old earth there are secrets there you must discover for yourself here to open the way Okay. And I am sorry we have not always been forthcoming. I hope you will see what I have seen. You should also talk to your colleagues in Constellation. I am sure they have gathered more information on the remaining artifacts in the fringes of space. Part of me wonders what they will all say about what you have learned. But I will leave that to you. Skill points. Always love a good skill point. Right, what we take in? We've got security. We've got. We've not got boost back training yet. We've got the medicine. Got rifle certification. Could take that. Scavenging. Or I can take this. Because I need the extra carrying capacity because I have a really bad habit of going over. Right, let's get flying. So we've got a couple of things to do. We've got to go back to Old Earth. Uh, unearthed. There we go. And we'll jump all the way over there as well. We're scanning the planet and we're finding a lot of uh, iron and helium-3. Uh, I don't think that is what the actual composition of the moon is. I mean, I know it's got natural minerals, but I don't think. Right. The 
Nova Galactic Station. We've not landed too far away from it, have we? I really need to take the car for this? I don't think I do. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. This is the future. Whether or not it happens in my lifetime, this this is what's going to happen. There will be a base on... There probably will be one on Mars as well. So here we are. This is a bit of history. This is supposed to be old Earth tech, although it looks like exactly the same as the tech that we've got, which I suppose makes sense because it saves creating new resources. I encourage you again to pause these. Read those messages. It would seem that the occupants left in a hurry. Hopefully for no reason we need to be concerned about. Now that you've said that, I, I just... Why would you say that? Why would you say that? That's how we end up getting our asses kicked by something that comes crawling through the floor. You are right in my way. <laughs> Nothing in here to find. This looks like it was the sort of recreation areas. Well, this is where they slept, but also there's their gym facilities outside here. I don't suppose you would get many like a lot of downtime, wreck time, considering it's an airless void that's outside your window. I'm gonna quickly double check upstairs here. I don't think there's anything. A master crate, which I would be able to unlock now if I had taken that. Uh, when I accepted the assignment up here, that we skill point earlier. Bring a couple of personal items. Some psychological study said it helped when you're away from Earth this long. I brought my grandmother's old abacus. I would play with it on her lap, and she'd teach me the Russian for all the numbers. She uh, just got word that she passed. The next shuttle isn't for three months, so I. Uh, I won't be able to go to the funeral. <sighs> Goodbye, Babushka. Thank you for teaching me math. It brought me to the moon. Dead words. An iso-centered magnet is no good to us at the moment. I can handle finding stuff like that myself. That might be sealant though, which is useful to us. It is sealing. There we go. So finding all the slates is a little optional, but it will give us some uh, context and flesh this out. So it's worth doing. Zero G. There's another slate. Nova Galactic Project Log. Principal Engineer Lang Shu. Voltaire is being reconfigured for this new initiative. The math we're being asked to crunch is ambitious, even for a supercomputer. We might as well be asking it to count every grain of sand in every desert on Earth. Who came up with these original equations? 
Our partner isn't being very open about it. Every question I have goes through some discretionary channel. I'm surprised we even know we're working on a ship. So they've received what you what you're supposed to get so far is they've received some calculations that are so advanced that they've literally had to build the most advanced supercomputer that Earth had ever seen. Voltaire really is something else. A supercomputer so powerful they put it on the damn moon to keep it cool. Although by that logic they should be running it purely in the vacuum of space. But hey, good marketing material. Uh, I've been spending some off hours running some dumb simulations, just because I can. My favorite so far is simulating the sound of every duck on Earth quacking after receiving a piece of bread. You didn't know you wanted a real-time sim of feeding all the ducks, but now you have it. <laughs> You're welcome, humanity. <laughs> and they're playing with the most advanced supercomputer that's ever been built. And the reason it's here is, as that man said, this was the only place they could build it to ensure it stayed cool. So this facility wasn't really built for the human occupants of the moon. This was built to house the most advanced supercomputer that anyone's ever seen. think the way I need to go is up here, is it? Or was it up somewhere else? Sure there was another set of stairs somewhere, wasn't there? Or am I imagining things? Did I see those stairs through there and think that they were a way up to... Yeah, I did. I saw them and thought that they were maybe the way up. Right, so we just go out. It flows quite nicely, this little place. You get through... You can get a good look around. I think the rest of the slates must be upstairs. Right. They may be in these. So this looks like it was the shuttle bay for this place. Ah, it doesn't look like anything was ever in there. I'll look for the rest of the slates uh, before I leave here. For now, let's get ourselves up to this message.
the recording from the first test flight of the grav drive engines that we have but there's things that you can pick out of that and i want to pick out a few of those bits and pieces with you now one of the things that you're supposed to get from that is that all of this was created based on advanced equations and science that no one on earth is taking credit for no one knows where the equations came from But the equations are so advanced, this is the computer here by the way, the equations are so advanced that no computer that already existed on Earth could handle the mathematics, could handle crunching numbers. And so a brand new system had to be built to compute everything that needed done. You're not wearing your space, so that's a bit daft. Um, the other thing, I need to double check and see if the slates are inside then. I must have missed them. I don't think I did. But yeah, anyway, sorry. <clears throat> as well as that, the, there is an active uh, desire to keep things secret. You heard that when the, the question was asked in the slate that we found over here, when Lau was talking about uh, who even created these equations. And then you heard it again when he asked at the end of that recording on the roof, are you ready to tell me where you got these equations from? And he's like, nope. So there's a secret being kept from the staff. They're being asked to devote their scientific energies towards this goal of creating this engine. There's okay, confession time. Being single on a moon base is the worst. I only get like an hour to use the communication link to Earth every couple of days. And let me tell you, there's long distance dating, and then there's like long distance dating, you know? Oh, hey there. I'm a scientist, deadly employed, willing to take you out for coffee in like six months when I'm back from space. <laughs> it's not a great opening line. <sighs> no, it won't you be. You seriously can't get a date? <coughs> You're an astronaut. Hey, no one asked you. <laughs> I'm gonna have to search. It's gonna, they're all gonna be in their quarters, aren't they? I'm going to have to do a quick read through here. Did I get one from in here already? You're supposed to be able to lift these bed things up. Because that's essentially all these are, is things for giving them privacy. I don't know why they would be left in the down... Uh, state. You should be able to lift these up. I, I don't know why I'm not able to interact with them, but yeah. There's another slate there. Here we go. You ever get jealous? You know, the crew in the shipyard? Building the actual vessels that are going to travel the stars? We're literally on a base on the moon. <laughs> oh, come on, Sabina. I'm trying to share my dreams here. Well, your dreams are always out there and never here where the rest of us live. Can't you just be happy doing your job? Where's the fun in that? <laughs> so by my calculations, there should be one more to find. I don't think I'm going to find it in here. It'll be somewhere... Not so obvious. Personal groomer. Not in there. Not behind the door. So it wasn't in the bathroom, oh dear. Ah, 
So there's like daily logs and stuff that they've got to record. There's the last slate. There we go. We got the slates. Boom. Nova Galactic Project Log. Principal Engineer Lang Shu. I admit, this is not the most disciplined team I've ever run. Malcolm keeps stealing computational time on Voltaire. And thinks I don't know this. <laughs> and Sabina's been distracted lately, but won't tell anyone why. I really should demand answers from both of them. But honestly, I'm too preoccupied with this contract. We all are. Despite anything going on in our personal lives, there's something special about what we're building here. Damn right there is. And that is a little bit of insight. But I also... So it's not just the personal stories that you're meant to take something from here. You, you're supposed to take the fact that... You're supposed to read into those documents. There's a secret being kept. Yes, they have secrets in their personal lives. But also, they've built the most advanced computer ever that runs so hot that they've literally had to build a circuit board on the moon and turn the moon into a giant cooling system so that this thing would run. And of course now it's it's as good as junk. No one uses that anymore. The facility's abandoned. But where did the calculations come from that they based all this off? Nobody would tell them. That's a secret. Word, and we shall be on our way. Next episode, we will be taking on the task of figuring out what happened at the end of this project. It's going to be more slates, but there's also going to be more story to read into here. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. This one's a pretty good one. It's quite nice. It's sort of teasing out the... Either there's things that you don't know yet. For, we've played this game basically as a... At the beginning, we're a miner. Now we're joined a, a, an old explorers group that are hunting for artifacts across the galaxy that meant something, but they didn't know what. Now we know that they build a construct that can literally take you to the centre of the universe, where the doors open to let you into other universes. And now there's something more. Not only is that quest, but part of Earth's history is concealed and secret. The project that led to mankind being able to build the grav drives that took us out into the stars were based on calculations that came from somewhere, but no one knows where. I find it really a really interesting building up the layers of the story. So I hope you've enjoyed this one, guys. Do join me for another one really, really soon. And uh, I hope you enjoy getting your daily episodes. Hopefully they're easier for you to digest in this, this manner as well. So take care. I'll see you for another episode real soon, guys. Bye for now.